It's false. Yes. Nobody in here judges. Nobody. He definitely judges. Nah, 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 nah. Ain't no judgment in here. This is a judge. This is a judge free zone. Oh, so you cool with people that have paper tags? Absolutely. In black charges. No, absolutely. And you don't judge. That's you don't judge them. That's you don't, criminal. No, you don't judge them. That's don't criminal. judge them. You don't know their life story. That is criminal. No, you don't know their life story. That's criminal. You don't know their life. You're judging. Does it, You're you, judging. You feel, you feel it like it's close to home because you used to have the paper tags or something? No, I've never had a paper tag. Mm. Everything was in my name. You used to get the oil chains. <laughs> don't matter what. I got the oil chains. You get them stickers. You be judging. Let me inspect the stickers. I, look, I'm I'll just be judging. <laughs> just say it. It's criminal. This no, is a judge free say, zone. No, judging. I don't know what you're talking about. Criminal. You be judging. No idea. What you're talking about. That's you be judging. That's too just, broad of no. a. No. No. Mm -hmm. You be judging. It's okay. Oh, pull it out some on the first one. That's what he's. <laughs> pull it out some. <laughs> <laughs> we know that's. Well, now it's probably going to happen. You didn't stop it, so. Oh, this is true. And Accountability go. goes both ways. <laughs> it does. It does. It takes two to make a baby, not just one. It takes two to do a lot of things. Can yeah, it does. Can you hear us? All right, yeah. we're good. It takes two to make a couple Lady babies. Camera. But now you be judging. I be judging. Steve be judging. Ah. Everybody be judging. I don't, of course. I don't think he's judging. But this is a judge free zone. Is that not judging? The license plate. Thing. That is judging because you don't know their life story. They could actually just be I in mean, a tough time. Every, let's, let's be real. Everybody judges if we're going to take it technical. If we're going to go as technical as him. It's a yeah. part of life. But he brought up one specific thing. <laughs> because you saying you don't judge people. I don't trust people. I mean, we could use that for a lot of things to be real. You're like, judging them because you don't trust them. Why you don't trust we're them? We're going very, <laughs> very, very deep into this. <laughs> you know? It's just nah. no need to go that deep nah, into we got judgment. It. Nah, if you're going to say... I'm, I don't judge nobody. Then you gotta gotta stand Who's on that because, though. You said you act like you don't judge nobody. No, nah, no, you said you act like. But you act <laughs> like you don't see, judge now we're like getting like extra technical. Yeah, I see. All right, y'all are killing me. I watch both suits. of y'all are killing me. I know you, Mike Ross, but I watch Suits. You don't want to <laughs> fuck with me because I'm low key could be a lawyer. You still be judging people at the end of the day. Okay, that's a broad statement. Anywho, <laughs> um, <laughs> judge with dub. <laughs> Just because you be judging, you're trying to you know, radiate your I judgment. know, I do. I, yeah, I know you do. It's a part of life. Wow. Everybody judges. Is it judging or is it just being conscious of your surrounding? You can say that, and that's fine, which is good. You need to be conscious of your surrounding. So, yes, I understand why you judge Survival. people with the paper It's still tags. judging. It's still judging. Yeah. Okay. It's still judging. I get it. I get it. Well, but, you, you know, it's also, judge, you know, they wish I was about to say, uh, for those that didn't, <laughs> yeah. also can find uh, ways of, uh, there's a thin line between judging and being gullible. So And that too. You know. <laughs> and that too. Why do we start it off so negative? Come on. This is episode 92. Oh, no. We're here for it. Today is the day. He's, 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 he's come for the shit. Why? Wow, I got to get the, the, the bullet. You ain't getting no bullet. I just want everybody in this room projecting. to be honest today. I just feel like <clears throat> be honest. Niggas with a 06 Saturn Thank and a, just got out of an accident with a paper tag. Just, just tell your truth. And they're speeding. Tell your truth. We all speed. Well, not everybody. I don't want to say that, but we do be speeding. But I, speed, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. People who like I get the accidents thing, but yeah, 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 people yeah. who got a bunch of dents on their car, I believe them. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't. Fair point. I don't try to get Fair rid point. of them. I, I don't believe try you. To, yeah, For I, sure. I believe you. <laughs> I, I believe, don't try to. I get it. And that's technically not judging at that point because now I'm looking at your car and inferring that you damaged your vehicle, meaning you're okay with damaging your vehicle. That's me inferring. And that means mm -hmm. you don't give a shit about my car. <laughs> this is very true. Or you don't have insurance to give a shit about your car even more. So that's. It's a form of judgment, but it's, yeah, it's yeah. like. It's. It's like if we're gonna go that technical, yes, it's always a form of judging. So there's good judging and bad judging. There is. Like ah uh, It's a, no no no. There's there's that that's good and judge good and bad are subjective. So, you know. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, we can really <laughs> I you wanna go deep down in this rabbit hole, we can go. I think it's survival <laughs> I think it's survival instincts judging. Okay. And then there's just blatant I want to judge just based off of this guy sacking nothing. his pants, he's a thug. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah he can be judgment. just a you know. I mean, the optics look like your stuff, but you're far from it. Yeah. You grew up in the you suburbs. I know a couple people kid. like that. Yeah. I don't know. A kid sagging your pants. Yeah. In, a, in a scenario like for, for black guys walking in the neighborhood. Yep. You could be going to the park. You could be coming from somewhere. Going to who? But if it's two in the morning and four black guys got hoodies on, 
in there walking through the neighborhood. Now you didn't judgment tweak is happening. Now you, <laughs> you didn't tweak. It's scenario basis too. Roll that window up. Hey, a lot clink clink. <laughs> Hey, Automatic. defensive mode goes on. Yeah, you know, yeah. survival instincts. And yeah. you could have still been coming from somewhere innocent, but hey, around but, this time, mm-hmm. it's two in the morning. My boy. Open, but now I'm looking at you. Yeah. Yeah. What you doing out here? Mm-hmm. Keep oh, your eyes on it. I wonder what the name the point of, what the name of this episode is. Point is, is I'm here to judge today. That's why I brought it. But that you know, up. we're not gonna start that. Calm down. Because nah. I know what you're trying to get. No, know? not that. There's something else. Oh, okay. I added you on Instagram. Damn, it's something else. It's something else. It's something else. Because he tagged us in it. We gonna get to what's her name? Uh, we gonna no. It's not. It ain't got nothing I'm to do about playing. no chick. But we are gonna get to uh, Jada in a minute because yeah, oh, we already yeah, know her ass. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah, we can, yeah, we gonna get to that. Going. But I, before we dogs. get to that, <laughs> for all the dogs, for all the dogs. <laughs> but before we get to that, man, I, I, man, I'm, I'm frustrated, bro. Oh really? I'm, I'm frustrated. Oh, what well, type of frustration? I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated with people that. Don't take advantage of opportunities. Mm. And this is not directed at anyone it specifically. Is. No, it's not. You it really is. You said we was going to come in and apply. No, but if it applies to you, oh, well. By all means. But I'm not here to put out names or anything okay. like that it's because cool. I'm I, not respectful. It's, it's, we not the This is more of a general statement, but I've witnessed it personally. Gotcha. And it's good I'm in here with all of y'all, including Nisha. Mm. I, I can see both sides of the spectrum. I'm going to get into it. Mm. With y'all, and this has nothing to do with y'all. I'm using y'all as an example. Y'all make the best of your <clears throat> situations, whether you're in a good uh, position in your life, whether you're down, you'll find a way to figure it out. Right. That's the one thing I can say I appreciate about y'all because <clears throat> anytime I ever have some self doubt, I can look at y'all and be like, they have a family, they mm-hmm. have kids, mm-hmm. they have a wife. <clears throat> they have people that they care about. Right. And even if they are going through it at their lowest of the low, they're going to figure it out. They're going to suck it up and they're going to get it done. Gotcha. And I can appreciate that because you need people like that in your circle Easy on to suck keep it up, you. Right. Gotcha, though. But I got anywho. You. <laughs> see, niggas. <laughs> but anywho, anywho, you're able to, you know, at least be able to take care of your business as men Mm -hmm. and you need that if you got a core group of friends that you consider friends to have that type of mentality like yeah it's rough out here it's going to be rough out here but we got to get it done facts so that's the positive then you got individuals that you see have potential have the opportunities or been given the opportunities to make some shit shake and they do the bare minimum Mm-hmm. And then sit there and blame everybody else for the situation that they're in or the predicament that they're in. And you just sit there and be like, yo, what are you doing? And it it irritates me and it frustrates me because I've seen it. And it's just like, bro, like all you have to do is just apply yourself. Like, and it, it kind of makes me reevaluate my friendship with that person because it's like, mm. there's only so much. I can do. There's only so much information I can give you for you to want to better yourself. Mm -hmm. And it shit irritates me to the, just to the ninth degree of watching someone sit there and bullshit their way through a situation, not trying to better themselves. Yeah. This is, and this is not me talking from a standpoint of, oh, I'm up now. So I can talk like this because some niggas, when they down, they be acting a different way, and then when they up, now they talking high and mighty. No, mm-hmm. I've always, and I can pride myself on that. I've always been someone that I'm, I'm gonna figure out something. I'm whether I'm gonna do this, find a way to make some shit shake. Because at the end of the day, what else do I have to lose? No. I, I'd rather try and figure out something and apply myself and get somewhere, even if it's not my original destination. Get somewhere and just sit there and be like, oh well. You know what I'm saying? Life is tough right now, but I'm going to figure it out and not try to put some plan into motion. So when I see motherfuckers that I consider friends or really value as a friend and I see you bullshit, bro, and then sit up there and blame everybody else or don't take initiative, don't, don't take accountability for the mistakes you put yourself in. Yeah, it's kind of tough. So, <clears throat> and not to cut you off, but do you, is there like a, like a question Oh, no. you wanted, or you wanted us to kind of chime in on that? Because I mean, I, I no, we can chime thought. in. It's it's not even a question because it's it's 
clear as day. Yeah. Like, there's only yeah. so much I can sit up there and be like, oh, he going to this, they going through this. All right, cool. But then at some point, it's like, my nigga, you, we, we getting older. You're in your 30s and you still, and you don't have to have everything figured out, mm-hmm. but you got to have a fucking idea, bro. But you know, th- with that, I feel like you got to always, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what's up, but same, same. <laughs> a little itchy. I think it's, I think I know we're going to get canceled because it's a lot of <laughs> You stupid, bro. Coming up. You can feel the now, cancel. Yeah, I can feel the cancellation coming up. But now, <laughs> um, what I'll say is, I think you always got to figure out how to treat self, like how to, how to get your own mindset to overcome and to to be more how do i say you need to strengthen your own mindset when you're dealing with people of that nature for sure because when you think about it like when we started the youtube channel Mm -hmm. um i wanted everybody to be in it a thousand percent Mm -hmm. but everybody either couldn't or didn't want to yeah and some people wanted to but they couldn't and some people really didn't care Mm -hmm. now you you think about Damn! Come on! Come on! Come on! We can! We can! We can! We funny! We do! And you you really want something so bad, and then you see how some of the other people who then reach a certain level of starting, whether they're doing movies, whether yeah. they're doing music and stuff like that, have the same similar friend group that we have. Mm-hmm. They just applied themselves. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I seen that happening for us, even though we're not, we're still on our way. Yeah. But I seen that happen for us much sooner with the group and the number and the uh, the talent. Mm-hmm. Yes. I had to stop getting mad at people. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because at the end of the day, it's counterproductive for me. Because I mean, we just know at the end of the day, bro. Every you know what the hardest thing that I had to realize: everybody is not gonna go. Absolutely, I not. think that was the one, and I'm still dealing with that now. Just thinking mm-hmm. about it, because it's even with family. Yeah, but I, I, I do. That's with that the constantly. one thing that I'm still trying to. I just have to face the fact that everybody is not gonna go. It don't matter what talent you have. It don't matter what. With skill, it don't matter. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like you could have it all, but point, some people point. just it's just they're just not gonna you, give you can, it. You can have all the talent in the world, but if you're not applying it, it doesn't really it, matter. Pointless. That's the biggest thing. And that's mm-hmm. one thing I've been learning as well. Is like cause it's being around y'all, it's like, okay, cool, there's other like minded people like For that. Sure. But then you have the people that you've been trying to get there yeah. and they're not willing to put in that same work that you're putting in. It's like do I want to stress over that because I can't bring them as much as I want to? I can't force them Facts. to do this, Facts. and and like I I just can't. And I understand that there's other levels of friendships and other levels of people that I I'm gonna end up meeting and mm-hmm. growing with because those are the people that are in that same like minded plane as me. And then everybody and everybody and which is 100 percent true. Everybody also grows at different times. <clears throat> yep, this is yep. true. Like you may have caught your you know not even. Right. Let's just throw money out of the yeah. know, situation. Mm-hmm. You might have caught your realization about life and matured just based off of mm-hmm. an, an instinct yeah. or a situation that happened or, you know, a life threatening situation, you know, mm-hmm. like some of the instances you've been in before. Like you might have caught maturity a little faster than somebody else. Mm-hmm. I had to catch maturity faster than a lot of people I know because I had a child young. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I was 21, mm-hmm. you know, when my daughter was born. So it was just like, you know, I couldn't look around and be like, man, yeah, let's be mature. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, got yeah. a kid. I can't. I can't. I got do a kid. That. I need help. Yeah, like I can't <laughs> ask y'all to be on some type of time that I'm not on. Mm-hmm. You true. still wanted to do this and do that. Even now, like we live different. Like you go out. I'm not really a person that go out. Yeah, I don't agree with going out all the time. That's your bag. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, what you feel like you want to do as a person that has nothing to do with my life. As long as For sure. everything is being safe and being cool. I'm straight, but at the end of the day, I can't look at your lane and make sh- you know try to depict yeah, yeah, yeah. what you should be doing based off of your timing because yep. you will probably have an incident that happened. But you know what? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like everybody gonna catch it eventually. Mm-hmm. But the, th- the problem is, <clears throat> will it be too late? When? Yeah, and that's and that's <clears throat> my point. At some point, when does the okay, light bulb? Yeah, when does that light bulb come on? I thought it did for everybody at thirty. Hey. You would but, think. You would think. You sure. would think, but, but nah. no. Everybody got a different timeline, man. Yeah. You it's, it's some 50, 60 year olds. Bruh. That's, mm-hmm. that's some grown boys. It's mm-hmm. some 50, 60 year olds still out here gang banging. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking gang banging. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, facts. still calling shots and shit. And like, boy, if you don't get your life alert, taking a little thirty year, <laughs> telling a little thirty year old to do something. Like, what? yeah, make sure my life life alert blue, cause 
All I'm saying is, at the end of the day, man, no, 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 I, I, ca- I he's catch that one, bro. I caught no. it, but we're we're gonna we're gonna skip past that. Blood is blue. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> blood is blue on the inside. So like, what? We're not doing right. that. <laughs> Semantics again. So technically, they're both <laughs> semantics they again. Be together. But uh, at the end of the day, blood, man, hair, crib, inside. Or I, I, I just want the people that are around. To apply themselves. Don't say no, no. I get what you're saying. Uh, not, not we've to seen you it. Off of that. We've yeah. seen it too many times, and we talk <laughs> about it all the time. How life is short and fleeting. What time are you trying to figure shit out, and, or and, get and, it and, together, and or try to? That's not up to you. you yeah, you of have course, to, of course. You have to be there, <clears throat> and you have to know how to limit what drags you down. Because facts. I let too many people for too long drag facts. me down. Facts, and facts, I, facts. I feel like personally, I would have been further in life. Mm-hmm. If I wouldn't have coddled certain people, you know what I'm saying? And then people, people fuck up and then they go back like on social media and stuff and start putting God and shit. Yeah. 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 And then they start making it seem like, uh-huh. oh yeah, that wasn't my time. It's like, no. Wasn't for me. Nah, nigga, it was for you. God don't be, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like we get free will. We do. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. my thing is, I, one thing I can't stand is a person that has free will Mm-hmm. Throw God in something that nah, nigga, you actually could have made something of to. yourself. Yeah. You chose not to. You bullshitted, mm-hmm. and you are where you are because of your situation. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm tired of like, bro. I've struggled. I've been through things. Mm-hmm. I ain't, you know, I ain't cry to nobody. You know, I didn't make myself feel, mm-hmm. you know, like, uh, uh, like baggage to anybody. People mm-hmm. don't know the struggles I go through daily. But you know what? Like my dad always told me, you gonna be a man or a mouse. Mm-hmm. You're going to figure it out or not. You can sit there and cry, but don't nobody really give a shit. They don't. Because they got their own problems to deal with. Mm-hmm. Right. So you can cry all day about, oh, I need a job. I need this. I need that, bro. I, I And it's and it's funny. And it's like, I know we, we didn't know a lot about, uh, and we still don't know a lot about this stuff that's going on in the war <clears throat> overseas. But I talked to my kids about that. And I told them, I said, do you realize these people are waking up with nothing? Mm-hmm. Some people are waking up with their parents gone. Some people are not waking up. And these people are taking our kids. They're taking mm-hmm. out. I don't know what the situation is to the core of the detail. All I know is innocent people <clears throat> are dying. Yeah. And we be out here complaining and stressing as the the most privileged country. We yep. can complain about some bullshit mm-hmm. and then hop on the game. One of the homies, you know who you are, then told me that he knows somebody that spent almost a rack on 2K. And I said, if this nigga ain't driving, if, if he's struggling in anything else, I'm on his ass. Yeah, if you're struggling in something that's and you're spending a rack on 2K, that's that's pretty rough. It's like priority. And then that's if, why if that's not, why people think I'm an ass now. Mm-mm. Because I don't really like to, I don't like to hear you. I hate complainers. That's like my biggest pet peeve is somebody who complains. Mm-hmm. I don't complain. Like, Venting and complaining are two different things. Yeah, mm-hmm. me and Nisha just talked about that this weekend. <laughs> Absolutely, I think, I think there's a thin line between venting and complaining. I think yeah. when you're venting, you're getting it off you're your chest, you're expressing, you're releasing. Yeah. When you complaining, I think you just keep you nagging about the same. You're not situation. trying to find a solution. You're just you're constantly not. whining about that same thing that you keep you just doing want people to, to hear yourself, it. and you yeah. want people to hear it so you can keep whining about it the next weekend, and yeah. the next weekend, and the next weekend. Instead of trying to find an actual solution, you want people yeah. to feel sorry for you. Absolutely, mm-hmm. it's it's a it's it's almost a disease. It's terrible, bro. Yeah. Like, man, I came here to have fun, but y'all, <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. We're going to have fun. I, I know a couple people like that, so it irritates no, I know, me too. I know a few people like that. Just want people to feel sorry for you. And it's like, but don't nobody, didn't, nobody felt sorry for me when I was young and trying to figure out how to do it. No. I had lost my job at a point in time. Mm-hmm. Um, and even if they felt sorry, it didn't, with, didn't matter. With a child, with an apartment, and Nisha had to work by. So like, people don't understand the story. What is them feeling sorry going to do for you anyways? Nothing, bro. I didn't complain to nobody, bro. I was like, in that house. It's not going to do anything. I was in that out, house with bro. my daughter praying and like, what am I going to do? Making a plan, <clears> figuring <throat> shit out. Expound on that. Boy, let's just sit up here and pray all day. But if you don't apply yourself, then you, you just, still got to put action to you're it. You're just talking. They say faith without works is dead. So yeah, exactly. one thing about it is you have to not only pray, but you have to put forth the action when you pray. Yeah. You can't just pray and be like, all right, go ahead, God. No, nah, it don't work like that. Too many Christians the case, and people think that's how it's if life that's works. the case, then yes. we just pray for anything and we get everything. But no, what makes you well, get into that point, get into that point of where you want to reach your goals or whatever you define as success, <clears> is the work 
to get there. Because if it's given to you, yeah, it's cool, it's easy, but it's not the same as getting it in a situation where you had to work for it. That's that's one of the most annoying things <laughs> about when people say you're lucky after you've succeeded in something. Because motherfuckers have <laughs> nah, put in bro. so much work to get to where they are. It's right. like somebody looking at y'all channel and be like, oh, they lucky. They they lucky they got there. I'm like, do you not see the fucking amount of videos that these motherfuckers have to put out? Do you know how much work this takes to do this? Yeah. Do you know how much time this takes to do this every day? Yeah. Like you don't understand if you ain't did it. Facts. So stop saying people are lucky. That is so irritating. And the whole time I was working <laughs> a job. Exactly. While I just left my job last People year. don't understand. This year just made a year. They mm -hmm. don't understand. They don't. Like, bro, I was recording, had my laptop when I was done, working, edit the same video on they, the same laptop. They don't understand the work mm -hmm. that goes into the stuff. And they just see results and be like, oh, well, they good. They lucky. They lucky. They they they, they lucked out. You da, 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 da. I'm like, no. Yeah, my thing the for time, the, the my effort, thing the for work. The, for the people on the grinders, <laughs> for the for all the grinders out there, bro, you, you going to have your day. Facts. Like, you will. Because you know what? One thing that a person who's consistent and goal-oriented and is the fighter, and one thing about them, they going to get it. You know, regardless, mm -hmm. they're going to make it. They're going to make a way. They're going to find a way. You know, I always think about Pursuit of Happiness. You know, it, it's, a, you know, an emotional movie. Um, now, when I look back at it, because, I'm, you know, I have children as well, and he had his son. But to see somebody busting they behind to make a way homeless, yep. I mean, you just, you see him every scene just trying to figure it out. And you kept feeling like, damn, he can't catch a break. And he really can't catch a break in real life. And he can't catch a break in real life. That's we a here. perfect. That is a perfect. We Before we segue though, <laughs> like that scene when he was in the bathroom and he had to put his foot against the door because mm -hmm. they had to sleep in there and his son didn't know. And it's the thing is like sometimes children don't even be understanding the mm -hmm. struggle that they in, and you put that face on so they don't have to understand it. And he mm -hmm. busted his behind until he was able to make it into you know a big brokerage firm mm -hmm. and go crazy with the millions mm -hmm. you know but people got to realize like bro when you want it bad enough oh you gonna get it bro yeah, like facts. you gonna find it whether that's working out whether that's finances whether that's your marriage whether that's because nowadays people in a quick phase like it's some is it's a difference between dealing with a toxic situation that mm -hmm. you know is not going nowhere and quitting before you even give yourself a chance to, to make something work Man, nowadays social media tell us just, oh, if they they don't do this right, leave. Yeah. If they don't do this, leave. And I'm like, bro, first of all, we all different. Mm -hmm. There's no one person alike. So if we all come in in a situation with somebody who's completely different with, from you, how do you expect that person to do a thing and feel everything that you do at the same time? Yeah. Right. So the minute me and you not vibing no more, oh, I'm out. Yeah. She yep. she did she she gone. People yep. want to pass up the uh, work part of everything. They, they want to. They, they, they want to get to boy, uh, starting that and the uh, results. Yeah. <laughs> skip the work. Skip the grind. Skip, skip the blood. Skip the sweat. Skip the tears. All that stuff. Skip yeah. all that. Just go to the results. Results. Give me the good results. And that's yeah. all I want. If it's bad results, I'm out of here. Yep. And that's Batch. it. That's what people want. That's Batch. it. <laughs> Steve Batch. said it, bro. Just give me the millions. I yeah. don't want to do anything. Just give me the millions. Yeah. Okay. And when you when you when life is like that, you don't appreciate it. Mm -mm. When you don't have to work for something, you don't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You know, I tell my children that all the time. It's like when you just get things, you don't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But when you have to work for something, like I remember we would wash the car. I would get the car washed whether I would wash it or go get it washed. Put all this work into it. Get in the car. I don't like when my children eat in the car because I already know yeah. what time it is. <laughs> but it's always that instance where they ain't ate and you got somewhere to go. Yeah. So I can't starve you because by the time we get there, it ain't going to be time to eat. Yeah. So they end up getting me. <clears throat> Next thing you know, fries, chicken nuggets, yeah. whatever it is, <laughs> in the cracks of the car, whoop de whoop. They don't care. Well, I started letting them help me wash the car when I would go to my dad's. Now you finna get in there and vacuum the back, vacuum uh -huh. your seat. Let's wipe them. Let's go get all the rims. They they out there working. Now when they get in the car, hey, hey, don't drop nothing. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> like, wow. That's crazy. Oh, we don't, we care now. Because that work you put in, mm -hmm. you don't want it to get messed up now because you had to put in work to make it look <clears throat> this clean. Mm -hmm. So now you appreciate something when you had to put some work into it. Facts. Because when you don't work for it, it's just like, whatever. Facts. I'm like, man, hey. I'm on it now. You you got me. This is your fault, bro. I was trying to come in here and turn up. <laughs> we are turning up. We're turning up with accountability. Yep. That's what we're turning up with. People have accountability. Take care of your business. 
and 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 let the result speak for itself. It's but, somebody specific that he's speaking on, but he's just there's multiple like, people I'm yeah, speaking to. But it's somebody recently that you're speaking on, like right now. Oh, there's multiple people still. So. It's 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 recent and you know past. Oh, they were together. Just all they like, just hit you all uh, at once. Yeah, it's just it's a culmination of bullshit. My thing, I've just I just my thing I've is I've gotten fed up. Don't with. don't put God in this. Please yeah. don't. Don't try to blame blame it on like uh, fate. No, nah. <laughs> like you didn't have the chance. Come nah. on, now. we man. all have opportunities. We're not doing that. Niggas fuck up and start doing quotables. Yeah, man. <laughs> Gotta hit them with a Drake line. <laughs> <laughs> I know niggas. Niggas, niggas they write a Drake line real quick. Yeah. Niggas get mad at you for they fuck ups. Yeah, nah. Like man. you, you went and messed up your life. Now you mad at other niggas. It's or, their fault that I that I did the crack. It's their fault. Like, bro, you like, smoked like, that. I ain't tell you to put the damn pipe to your lips. Like, what? Yeah. How? That's wild to say, but I ain't tell you to do that. <laughs> at all. <laughs> now you mad at other niggas mm-hmm. putting quotes and shit on Instagram. Man. Shit's wild, man. I don't see none of you people niggas shit. Are wild. Man. When you on that, I don't see none of y'all shit. Other people got to tell me that. I'll yeah. be like, man. Whatever. <laughs> That's all you knew. Like, all right, okay. whatever. Okay. Well, you you figure it out. You and God have y'all long talks and yeah, y'all let me you let me know how it works out well, in the end. Well, to go to a positive note and just jump away, not even going to Jada yet. We're just yeah. gonna go to the Texans winning yesterday. Oh yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Let's go, we baby. Knew that at home. Yeah, you know, while we were surrounded still keep by our black shit. and gold, you know. Who the that? Who that? Y'all cool people. I like I actually rock with the team. I have no issue with the team. Not like the it's Saints. the fans. But they got some annoying ones. You know, ones. that can, you know, come in and just like most. Most they can make groups, you, you yeah. know, like most. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel that way too bad about certain teams, but mm-hmm. like specifically that who that becomes the who like that. Modern. It's crazy because the who that came out of nowhere for me. Like I remember there was a time where I had no idea what that was. Mm-hmm. But that Super you was Bowl, like who that? That Super Bowl really changed the the dynamic oh, of that. Yeah. I never knew that was a thing. I yeah. I did not know. And you know what's crazy? My son and them team they they played against a Saints team oh, okay. a few weeks ago. Ah, same energy. Uh, and you can tell some of the parents probably have their kids on their team because it was called the same. Uh, you know? uh, so they get to wear all these same stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So they was who that in the whole time. And they was just Was like, that the team that got blown out? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, they needed it. Who, who was that? Pretty crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. We that. <laughs> like and we were was saying crazy. yesterday in the it hallway. Was a, it was a home game for them too. And so oh, they wasn't man. even, ah. the, when we were scoring all that, they wasn't even turning up like ah. they was. So they, I'm like, bro, at least be fair, fam. But, Damn. Ah. Yeah. Who that getting smoked? Who that? <laughs> That's why yesterday after the game, everybody was like, Houston, Texas, in the hallway, everybody. Everywhere, bro. Uh, and then, seen Golden then, Black, somebody, on. then uh, one dude was yelling, who that? And then somebody was like, we that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We that. We one, that. one thing I love about sports, bro, it brings people together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like when you rot, rooting for the same team, I love the fact that you don't even see color, race. You don't see nothing else. You just <laughs> see y'all. organization. That is yeah, why I love football so much, or sports in general. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because every time I go to a, let's say I go to an event, I'm dapping up somebody yeah. that I yeah. don't know. <laughs> you be getting cool with dude behind you. Bruh, and it happens. The all this, matter of fact, I, I'm cool, Facebook <laughs> friends with a dude that I went to training camp with twice. Oh, mm-hmm. for real? It wasn't even on purpose. I just so happened to get in the line. He started talking about some stuff, and I, we start, I just started talking with him. And then they, we all just was talking for like hours. And I was oh, like, yeah. they actually know. They know the stuff. Yeah. They've been through this with me. And so, you know, you connect, and then you mm-hmm. get cool. It'll be the best time, bro. Yeah, and since then he shoot, he actually hit me up. He was like, "Hey, you trying to make a game?" I was like, "Yeah." As a matter of fact, I am. I'm trying to go to another game. Too. I'm going to the Bucks game. I want to uh, bring up. When is that? <clears throat> November fifth. November fifth. Yes. Oh, that'd be a cool birthday present. What the heck was that? For the little homie, for all the dogs, for all the pups, <laughs> for all the pups. Shout out to um Adonis. Drop oh, yeah. the music video. Yeah, he dropped the music video. <laughs> Don't talk to my man like that. <laughs> I was my, 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 man. I seen the little video on Instagram. That was bro. cool, man. That, that is live. Playing all the homies, they at the little uh, basketball yeah, court and stuff. That's that's oh, cool, wow. bro. That when you that's your you dad is Drake. You can have your own music video and have fun. That's or anybody actually. Yeah, I could definitely shoot a music yeah, video for his true. son right Maybe now. Just for Drake though. <laughs> but I mean, you know, that's Whoa, not just Drake. Do we don't need yeah, to be yeah. Drake to do that. I could do it too with my son. I mean, yeah, one hundred percent. We'll put some respect. And you can. I can one hundred percent shoot a fire video for him. Exactly. I, I get that. We understand. <laughs> yeah, you could be dancing in the background. Exactly, I, Uncle I'm, Ross. I'm, and we're going down this rabbit hole. <laughs> Wait, you're not gonna get my home. You're not gonna get Isaiah no. Uh, I'm not, I, will, <laughs> I will, bro. Right. You know that, bro. You know he's a straight shooter. Um, Ross don't want to. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely us. Got you. Definitely, <laughs> you. 
All right. Okay. okay. Now, All right. Try to teach them to simmer down so kids. But the it. point is just who he is, who his father is, and you just know. him being able to do that and just have that, fun with that. That's, him that's, being the kid and doing that. That's that's dope. Pretty like, dope. I, I like I like to see stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Instead of people trying to put other people's kids against each other because of, you know, their or having relationship. kids doing different things like that weird stuff that they be parents be having their kids doing just to get clicks. And yeah, likes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this know. just seemed like him just having fun. And hell, hearing him, it's funny. I, I think I seen some people talking about in the comments and like, yo, his little part at the end of the song. I've been saying that over and over and over. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of catchy on the cool. No, it Don't is. talk to my man like that. I'm like, yo, that's that's cool, man. So I like seeing those little wholesome moments. Will they play that in the club though? No, they're not playing. They club. would. Somebody would do it. Somebody would do it, but it, it just to do it, hmm. and people would probably recite it, and it would become probably a meme, and then yeah. uh, TikTok. You're right, TikTok You're right. viral. I could see that happen. I could 100 yeah. yeah. see it. Don't talk to my man like that. My yeah. my yeah. yeah yeah. I could see it. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, they use sure. it as like that transition song. That's gonna be too long. Mm-hmm. Come on, be oh, like, okay, okay, okay. Follow yeah, the song yeah. type thing. Yeah. You definitely can play it at a birthday party. Oh, oh for, for sure. sure. Yeah, for sure. Along with the kids, Bob. <laughs> the kids bob kids bob still be going on yeah i did not know that people still mm-hmm. buy the stuff I so. they just as long as else. people keep buying it well, I, i'm not buying it i'm streaming it but yeah. streaming it buying it whatever it, i mean it's technically buying it in a sense Sheesh. in a sense yeah, I mean, yeah in a yeah. sense that's i wouldn't i wouldn't claim it but yeah 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 because the the sense on the on that i think it's like point zero zero the stream yeah they really, really are just really you low key gotta getting stream. gypped. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you are. really getting gypped if you're not a top, top, top artist. And even then, they low key kind of get gypped because they're not really getting the full value of a stream. But that's for another conversation for another day. You ready to get in your shit? Oh, uh, yeah, I've been waiting. You got it out about the person you were shooting at? It's multiple he people. Said that's that the in. <laughs> that's all it is. Somebody's at the top of the list. Oh yeah, for sure. Somebody's at the top, and then there's like Somebody's a close second. The there's like a close third. If they're all grouped okay. in of disappointing, unaccountable. That, yeah, unaccountable. Not getting it together. Not saying you have to have yeah. everything together at one time, but it's just like, I don't know. I have. I look at my core group of people I'm around differently than regular niggas. I don't give a fuck about. You, sure. you want to bullshit? <laughs> JAG. Yeah, JAG. Yeah. Go ahead and be a JAG by yourself. Yeah, but if I value <laughs> you as a friend or, you know, we've had conversations, like phone conversations on what we're trying to do and what we want to accomplish, and I see it, as you were saying, you know, it shouldn't, you sh- shouldn't allow it to get to you. But if you care about somebody, it's going gonna, it's gonna to irritate you. Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, So that's, that's really what it is. It's like I said, it's not directed at anyone specific, but if the shoe fucking fits... It's a Whatever. size 13, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just get it together. Man. I ain't gonna hold you though. Like being being around certain groups of people, um, like just with my kids, mm-hmm. organizations and stuff, mm-hmm. it put a real chokehold in like my circle. Yeah. Because I see should. people who it's so weird when somebody say they're gonna do something. And they do it. And they just do it. Like fucking Nike. <laughs> just hey, I'm gonna do this at this time, at this date. Yep. Hey, they did it. At this time in this date, we flying out to so and so. If y'all want to go, this is the time. This is the place. This is when you need to have the tickets. Now, hey man, I'm trying to go to Vegas. And then that group of people get smaller. smaller oh yeah, smaller, and you had like two that show smaller. up. Smaller, because you know what I really would love to do. <laughs> yeah, we can get into the situation after this. Okay, I love for all the homies to go to Vegas. I, I would been. love that because we'll I haven't either. No, I'm talking about this next year for the Super Bowl. Is in. Oh, the uh, oh, Super Bowl going to be in Vegas? Mm-hmm. Oh, we going to the Super Bowl. You know, I, I mean, you don't just have to go, go there to the just to, yeah. I mean, yeah, I would go there just to go. Because I haven't be my been. First I heard, heard a lot of great things about it. Yeah, I've heard um, great great things about it's it. It's in Vegas next year, right? Is it? I yeah. don't know. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. Let me fact you. Is well, it right, Nishan? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, y'all yeah, made me nervous. Oh, okay, <laughs> y'all. Well, no, because remember, they, they was fixing on uh this little globe or something. Like, they've been working, doing some construction. For the actual event. Oh. Next year, like 2025, then. Nah, 2024. So this year's Super Bowl. Yeah, this, this year's Super Bowl. I mean, next year, like 2024 year, for the niggas. Gotcha. See, yeah, this football season versus giving niggas a plan. Oh, but okay. it's going to be lit because Usher's doing the Super Bowl. Yeah, Usher had his residence, residency And that makes there. sense, though, because yeah. that's where he'd be shooting. He'd uh, been at. Yeah, but okay. I thought that shit would have been dope. 
because it's like, yo, mm-hmm. nigga, we finna be out here in Vegas. Technically, only we gotta go to the Super Bowl because I ain't trying to pay two thousand to be all the way <laughs> nosebleeds. Yeah, everything. Yeah, I mean, but I I would go and do, but I would love to go and do Vegas because I know everybody would be out there. I bet you I could find something too. But the mm-hmm. point of saying it is, you know, you gotta kind of think. Like, you gotta think of who you're asking to go. Yeah. If niggas gonna respond, that too. Yep, I gotta what? Because niggas it? don't be responding. Mm-hmm. But then group. when you don't respond to something important, you said, what? Them, said I got a cruise group, and I think we've lost two recently. So a cruise is cool. Well, I ain't cruising. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I asked yeah. you. Yeah, you did. I definitely uh, yeah. still still in uh, asking. Bro. I'm always on cruise. I'm so I'm on a cruise. <laughs> I'm still asking. I'm be, I'll be cool. asking probably once a month. I appreciate it because you know I never know when I'll. What yeah, you got on fantasy, so I I believe a cruise is possible. Facts. He did get on fantasy. It wasn't with my group, but it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I'm baby steps. Hey, I'm, baby I'm with steps. it. Two two. We gonna get in you there. one year or two. Yeah, that's a lot. But <laughs> maybe next year, my third year, I could probably do two. Okay, I'll actually run another league. But I think that'll be dope, bro. I'll be down. I've never been. <clears throat> Me never neither. Been. So I, I, I would think love that it. would be a a fun fun Can fellas trip. So it could be the guys only. She, he he asking you, Nisha, producer. Oh, she said, "All right, it's for all the dogs." No, <laughs> well, she's been to Vegas already. Oh, okay. How oh. was You were a kid, but you been. Oh, a kid experience in Vegas but is a little different. Been, I've been telling you that. I've never stepped foot in Vegas. You have. You may have to go with her. Go yeah, that's right. worthless. God, that's almost the first. most worthless like, Vegas trip life. ever. You're she technically to hasn't been to Vegas. I think to go my, my plan time. was always to do like a, a um, what's that movie? A Hangover? Because the last time I went to L.A., I was 18, style. so it's been a long time. I, I just realized it's been that long since I've been to L.A. So, like, I want to go to L.A. Go, when go I'm legal. And then, we can do the, and then we can do the hangover style. Him and Keith that I know, I don't force him to do I know. But go with Nisha first. Nobody going to force I know. Yeah, we know. We, oh, we, well, we've definitely learned know, that. For those who don't know, yes. <laughs> He's going to do it at his own time. He's going to do it at his own time, but I, I, I would per, suggest I, I think that would be cool. Me and Nisha gonna turn. So this up. cruise is okay, happening. Okay. I believe it. I'm Me speaking and Nisha into turn existence. Up. Okay. Right. What's today? October 16th, 2023. When is the cruise? Next year in August, sometime. Mm. I want to say around my anniversary. Mm. Mm. I am trying to go to Disney next year too. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. Ah, I haven't been to Disney in a minute. It's fucking great. I think it's time for the kids to go. Oh yeah, they but that man. Yeah, make sure they on the grades though. Ross, are you saying? trying to go on a cruise? Make sure they on their grades and they good. He's not they going. going. Oh, yeah. You can hang that up. <laughs> <laughs> on a cruise? You don't do cruises? <laughs> Large bodies of water? What? Ross didn't even want to do the boat party. I Initially, I didn't, but I did it because, you know, obviously nervous. it's your party. And, you no, know I'm talking saying? about the but first What if I say it's my birthday, man? <sighs> my birthday's around August, too. Hey, that's perfect. We can have a duo birthday. Cruise. <sighs> you won't even know. I, I'm, I've heard I won't even know. But you I'm not, won't. I'm not. Uh. Jesus is going to have to be on that boat. Because <laughs> <laughs> my mom's been trying to get me to go on a cruise for it. But that's your mom. That's different. There's other people been trying to get me on a cruise <laughs> he for said that's your mom. See, like I went with my people and it's, it's not the same experience yeah, 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 going yeah. with like Which cruise you going friends. on? Like Carnival or something? Most likely else? Carnival. Okay. I, I want to say that's, it's Carnival for because that's what I got my points on. Most of my points are uh, Carnival. Oh, so you a cruise. You, oh, absolutely, absolutely. you be cruising you around. Bro, discounts and drinks? Oh, I'll die. Quickly. That's one of the best, <laughs> one just, of the best vacations you could possibly have. Can I just stay docked? What? I mean, yeah. No, if you want to stay in the boat. No, I'm saying like stay. Next I mean, to pretty land. much docked. And once you like, once they land, you can still stay in the boat. No, you know. like the boat don't. No, no, no. no, no. no. I know what, what you're saying. Hell no. <laughs> Why not? Because the people pay for the boat to go. Some people do do that. Though. I don't mind. They'll, the boats, they'll get on sense. boats and then look. Like, they'll have the little boat party and then they'll get off. Really? You so can do that. It depends on like the type of. But that's more like a party type situation. I mm. do that. Though. It's not necessary. Oh, you gave me an idea. That'd be a dope party. Like what? A, like a big boat, like a party? yacht party, like a no. Nah, that's a pretty much what it is. A cruise ship party. This is a, so. You, well, a yacht is smaller, but nah, them yachts are pretty big though. They got some pretty big. They yachts. got some pretty big yachts. Big like a cruise ship, not that, big. not that big. Then you ain't talking the same. Big. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but if you're gonna you do that, the then you you might you gonna be out at sea. They're not about to just have a boat sitting there. That's it's cheaper because if you move that thing, you gonna be paying. But they most likely they want. They I want wonder how much that would cost to have to a boat rent a cruise ship. Like a there? cruise ship. Don't steal my shit. See, I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm gonna be yeah, the first one to right. do it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Of course. But you moved too. Wait, that, how much was that party boat? It wasn't no damn three. I'm about to say. No. You always do that. I'm always finding out how much stuff costs. Wait, how much was the boat? It's, it was. It was. It, it was probably rounded up to three. Cause I asked him. I talked to him. Oh, it was twenty five. Yeah, yeah. I talked to him. Damn. It was twenty five. Yeah, it's it's, it's close. Mm-hmm. It's because oh. the time you went too, because it was like that. Yeah, man. it definitely matters the time for sure. Because he told me that when I was on the phone, I was like, okay, okay, okay. I was like, yeah, I, no, I was actually cause we were definitely considered because we had like ten heads already. So what do y'all? Like, what do y'all do? It's like you throwing exactly. What is y'all? <laughs> what is y'all conversation? I don't know for lack of a better term. When you inquire about a price that's like hell no, how do you get out of that? All right, uh, I'm gonna hit you back, and don't hit him. Wait, back. it depends so on what about in person too. I was I was about to say it depends on if we're in person on the phone. Oh, that's or... cool. Oh, oh man, I appreciate that. Can you have your card? I get the mm. card, and then like for like for instance, I went into title boxing, and I was like just trying to see the price. I really wasn't trying to pay for anything, but right. you know they're always gonna try to get you to for pay sure. for something. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, oh, I'm just browsing. Uh, I'm thinking about getting into a gym. Blah 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 blah. I always come at that even if I am trying to buy it that day. And so they'll talk smart. They'll talk about it, and they're like, "So when you be trying to uh, join?" And once they ask that question, I'll be like, "Oh, I'm a. Uh, oh, it'll probably be within a month or two, possibly, if I decide to go with this." Mm-hmm. And then they'll be like, "Okay, well," uh, and then they'll do some kind of pushy, other pushy statement. Yeah, they'll and take, I'll be like, "Take off so much." I'll be like, oh, "Okay, cool. I, I actually have an appointment that I have to go to, or I got to do blah blah blah, or I have to do this, and I just walk out there." I've done that plenty of times, That's my but I try not to do things with my wife, like use my wife as certain things. I say that because there's certain things that I, I say sometimes that I have to stop doing because I'd be like, oh yeah, my wife is blah, blah, blah. She's in the middle of such and such and I don't be trying to do that. Yeah. I'd be like, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to make up. <laughs> that's my, that's what you should go to. That's what mm-hmm. I go to. If it's crazy, I, I I go I go to that with like, let's say we're speaking to like the long guy. Like when I was talking to the long guy the other day, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go give my wife about that to see what exactly we need. Yeah, or mm-hmm. blah blah blah. But for title, it was like it was just gonna be me anyways. Oh, I mean that makes sense. You and can let him down easy. And I was just like, <laughs> oh no, I gotta go to a such and such appointment, and I did have to go to an appointment. Y'all ever got honest? Huh? Y'all ever got it was too much when you just was honest? Like yes, oh, hell no. yes. Yes, I I didn't start doing it until I got older. Like, Same, you out your goddamn mind. Same, no, I I actually I was like, yeah, that price is a little too much for me. I'm not gonna be able to do that. He was like, well, I, we have other I, options. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. That other price is just so ridiculous mm-hmm. that I think I'm good, <laughs> and I feel like this price is limited. She was like, well, yeah, it is only for the okay, cool. You have a good day. Let's yeah, turn it off and walk. Yeah. Better walk. I do that sometimes, yeah. but it depends on the person too. His face, brother. Like, he always bringing yeah. Jesus in the mix. Is he gonna be here? Is he providing this? Is he? He cooking sound like this? somebody else. Is he real? <laughs> the only reason why if he's not gonna be there, then usually I'll be like American dollars. Because I'll be like, you got your damn mind, <laughs> American. <laughs> like when I we don't let us be out to eat. Oh yes, I them waitresses know. and waiters love me, bro. Because I'll be letting they be rolling. I'm like, would you buy this? Hell no. Nah. Take this shit back. I've asked that question too many times. <laughs> Bro, would you buy this is one of my favorite lines. What was that, McCormick's? Yes. Man, I, was, I got a steak. I think I got a steak. You talking about Schmidt? filet mignon, huh? You got the bill and found out you got to take every refill. I was cool. Oh, damn. Every Bruh. refill? McCormick is found. That was They all. expensive, bro. That was, that was our family tripping. Yeah. So we was I, at McCormick. Damn. I had asked you. for a glass of wine. We got a lot of them too. We didn't know they would have to pay for them. Oh, no, you're look, talking look. about the wine. I'm talking. No, 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 no. No, no we was. We I was, was talking about wine. We oh. was at McCormick's for my birthday last year, and we divided our family. Mm. And everybody, you know, I got the lemonade, and they do 
little different yeah. types of lemonade. Like you get mm-hmm. raspberry, blueberry, you can mix you it. Mm-hmm. Raspberry, yeah. Uh, but you know, a lot of places don't have all the, the yeah. selection of yeah, lemonade. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they, you know, they was really extensive. Every, so one thing I learned is every time you go with a special type of lemonade, you always have to pay for the refills at certain restaurants. Fam, strawberry lemonade, Not chili, chili. Exact. You know what's funny? That's the that was the board. That was what I used to use. I was like, at Chili's, I don't have to pay for my strawberry lemonade. It's also, it's also three for ten there too. So you wanna, <laughs> yeah. But other pla- a lot of other places, once you go like strawberry and any other other one, it's usually like a a, a price. Fam, you know, at when them I tell you, ends. when I tell you, my family, our family learned that day because niggas. Oh, they was doing it too. They heard me and Nisha because me and Nisha always try to find different flavors of lemonade. Yeah, oh, Lord, that's the thing we do. So I usually get the water. I usually get the water and I let her get the lemonade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if y'all haven't seen this before, if you young, you trying to get your money up, I still do this. So I'm going to forever be humble. I get a water. I let Nisha get the, the lemonade. Absolutely. And when they bring the refill, she ain't drunk that much of her first one. Exactly. So I'll take her first one and she'll have the refill. Now we both got lemonades and only got charged for one. So remember that. If you're trying to save money out here, that's something, you know. It got to be the right restaurant, too, because sometimes they'll take it. Bobby, damn. I'm going to still sip my water, too. Try to I'm going to keep her cup by her. I'm just going to reach over and sip hers and keep sipping my water. She's the only one that would eliminate, sir. That's I don't know why you put two on here. But <laughs> that's actually funny. It was my, it was my birthday, that's so wild. I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and get one, too. So we found some dope flavors. Feeling good. So the family hearing us get blackberry and all, and you got the mango that's fire right now. Blackberry lemonade. So everybody start getting different kind of lemonades and just getting it. Well, come to find out, I didn't know this either, but mm-hmm. every refill that they was getting, they was charging them a full ticket for the lemonade. When I tell you <laughs> the energy at the table change when people saw their price, and the first person said, "Wait, the refills wasn't free." Everybody got to looking at their receipt. Fam, I didn't want to laugh. It wasn't no laughing. That's funny, That's bro. It wasn't a laughing situation, yeah. but it got real. People How got much real. was the lemonade? It had to be like nine. Yeah. Nine to four dollars. Mm. Yeah. And if you, you drank four of them. Yeah, you like to drink that was a multiple plate. times. Ah, uh, damn. And then you got kids. Uh GG's. Kids are getting refills. GG's, bro. Bro, when I tell kids you, love them. And don't lemonade, don't, don't even talk about the plate because the plate that McCormick and Schmidt is not cheap. Fam, <laughs> that's what I was getting on. So, man, I got the goddamn <laughs> filet mignon. Oh, I think. You knew better. You should have knew better. Man, I said, I told the way, I said, wait. Because it'd be like this. I didn't order a hockey puck. I said, I ain't order a hockey puck. Can I get I a... I thought um, you knew that, man. I thought you knew that, too. I thought you knew that, bro. Bro, no, because I think I asked him for, like, the, the steak, the yeah. largest size steak. I don't yeah, know if it's like, filet yeah. mignon. Uh, filet mignon is never the largest. But yeah. I asked them. I don't... It probably wasn't filet mignon. I just wanted to be fancy. But whatever <laughs> steak it was, he was, he was, you know, I was just like, give me young. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. I got some uh, crab, yeah, got a, a lobster. Oh, damn. Lobster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You should have lobster. You should have known it was going to be over 100. Yeah, that's I was... I ain't trying to. St- I was. I didn't knew that I was going to spend money. Yeah, yeah. it was the size of the state, the portions yeah. that you. Yeah, that boy like, was hurt. He said, "I'm spending this much for this." But you know, I was mad. Was like you wanna know why I was mad? Because I was still full. Yeah, he was still hungry. No, I was full oh. off the state. So I was mad. Like God damn it! I wanted a bigger. So like my eyes is bigger than what my stomach was because mm-hmm. uh, it actually filled me up. But I you said, yeah. no, it still did the that job. That lobster did it. Oh, the lobster. Oh, okay. And then they got the uh, mac and cheese. So I had lobster, mac and cheese. And then... Oh, yeah. Your tab was crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's, when it's your birthday, uh, you... I get... Trust me. I know. <laughs> we went was your somebody... tab crazy? My first time. <laughs> you, got, you get major discounts and stuff. So... I didn't get... I got a discount, but it wasn't major. But my... it was still... It was cool. My first time going there, we went to, for somebody's... Was it a wedding thing? Mm-hmm. Or it was somebody's birthday? I don't know. But I got a Moscow mule as soon as I walked in at the... Uh, Bar because we were waiting because you hit it with the mule, yeah, whatever. And then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to the table. And I, uh, know song. me and the wife both got a glass of the wine. I was like, Uh, what's your cheapest wine? <laughs> That's the lady. I said, Yeah, what's your cheapest wine? And I was like, No, nah, I don't want to go with that one. What's your highest wine? And I was like, Okay, cool. What's about mid shift? And then she showed me the middle one. I was like, Okay, I would go with that one. The middle because <laughs> I didn't want to be the cheap one, but I also yeah, didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't also, get it. Uh, ma'am. Nah, cheap wine make my head hurt. I know uh, that. So that's why I have well, to ask. I want wine that tastes good. I don't <laughs> even care about the price. Like, price matters. Because sometimes cheap wines just, there's something in them for me personally that messes with my head. It gives mm-hmm. me headaches quick. 
And so I'm like, nah, give me something around the middle section. Yeah. And then um, I got some nice little red wine. And then my wife got whatever wine she had. And then I had my steak and she had, she always get fish. So I'm pretty sure it was a fish. Oh, y'all was turning up. <laughs> so, so fish. Y'all was turning up. No, I like that though. Yeah. Um, that's what uh, I want to say. Uh, the girl across from us had found out about the refills. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. Because I was like, I, was like, I don't order refill. strawberry lemonades nowhere else but Chili's in like a couple other places. Because I know Be they don't charge for it. That's what I found out. Like I found out at multiple places. Like mm. it's multiple places they You said where? It's in uh it's, it's not too far. it's not far. But you know what? I think I think we should do like an Applebee's day where we I heard dollars. they dollar whatever. I'm down I'm down if y'all don't. That, I heard boys. I have been going to Applebee's. Off them. Hmm? I've been doing the Applebee's thing. Uh, they just brought the dollar margaritas yeah, back. Yeah, 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 It became a trend again, which yeah, is cool. Yeah, it's, it's but a trend now. We was oh, on yeah. that. That's mm-hmm. well, that's me, Keith, and Theseus spot well, right I'm there, trying, boy. I'm trying to go. Yeah, Applebee's. They used to have a, so they used to have like the two dollar <laughs> Long Island iced teas. The two dollar. Yeah, the one dollar margaritas, and then mm-hmm. every now and then they had like um, they've been having boys. Smoked. What is it? The crown, yeah. the crown, and the uh, cokes. Oh, yeah. you were for like real? The, no, I'm dead serious. When I found out about this, bro. No, we was like, we go in there because that's cheap drinks but and we wait, get drunk. Where, where was our right. spot at? That one place in Pearland that we all go to every now and then with the wings. They had cheap um, Long Islands that first time we went. Uh, I don't remember. You talking about it? Is it? We just went there, I think, last year for your... Uh, what, you what? Brewing? Brewings? No, nah, it's a no. wing spot, but it's... It's in the same park. Oh, Bayou City. Bayou City. City. Oh, they, I love Bayou remember City. Remember they had like, what was it? $5 Long Islands or... Yeah, they had they had a nice little deal at that time, and we was in there. That's that was one of the main reasons I went because mm-hmm. I already like Bayou City Wings, and then I seen they had the drink special. I'm like, man, we doing that? Yeah, but I'm down for they the cool. Applebee's, but yeah. Applebee's been had like they usually have some kind of running alcoholic deal. Yeah, they get you drunk, <laughs> and so like we'd go there just like that was like the release spot. Like if they need to talk or something, we can pull up to Applebee's. You get some tre- cheap drinks, literally. Uh, spent and then at one point the one off of uh. The one in Stafford. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The one. That one, Theseus was cool with the bartender dude. So he probably oh, charged even better than He charged us for three drinks. And we probably drunk like nine, ten drinks or something in there. Fuck see, see, going out going out Good. to places and these restaurants and all that in the whole conversation made me think about it, the clip I seen of the young lady um arguing with the guy, the date. Um, Cheesecake. Factor. Whether it was fake or not. Um That was so corny. <clears throat> Cause it did look fake, but it I'm did. like, but it did start a conversation. Cause I was talking seeing, about that one. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, cheesecake um, factory was. Yeah, where she was she like, pulled up to the cheesecake factory and she stayed in the car because, it and it looked weird. like a skit to me. But yeah, the it conversation did. that it started, Bro. I seen a bunch of ignorance. Like Bro. I seen somebody say, um, <clears throat> yeah, if if my day pulled me to uh, pull up the cheesecake, I'm not getting out either. And certainly, I'm just oh, like, you too good for cheesecake. My I'm bad. Like, I'm what, here for it the hell now. Cheesecake? I didn't even know <laughs> cheesecake went down like that. I'm here for it now. Like, I'm just, it wasn't even the video no more. It was this the comments. The, It'd be different I if like. he pulled her up to like the <laughs> cream this burger. The first, this the first Burger day. Park or something. Why <laughs> Why are you tripping still? Burger Park is fire. Burger Park is fire. And but I'm going to do a little if, if she If he pulled you up to there and you, are, you he knows what type of woman you are. And he pulled you up to there. The cheesecake, That's his bro? fault. I That's, thought cheesecake. No, no, no. Was... I'm talking about Burger Park. Like he oh, pulled yeah, you yeah, up yeah, to yeah, Burger yeah. Park. He know you some kind of bougie suburban girl that ain't used to that type of stuff. And you just like, nah, I'm not getting out of this. Or, or you give me sexy red vibes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sexy definitely... red probably gonna be appreciating of the cheesecake. Oh, you know most, le- cake, most definitely. No, I'm taking her to Burger Park. Uh, no, I get it, but I'm saying, <laughs> what is he talking about? No, she'll appreciate we're going, that shit too. We going to Chimmy Chan. She'll appreciate now, that she would probably appreciate that though. So, but exactly. I'm talking about the motherfuckers that I've taken someone to cheesecake. We judge it. <laughs> oh, I don't give a fuck. I'm here for it. I've taken someone to cheesecake. It was my first time doing it. I spent me a, 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 a hefty little bag. Oh, and I, and I, like the, money. I like the ambience. I like, you know what I'm saying? The it's vibe a dope up. vibe. The pillars in there. Because the, when I saw it, I was like, cheesecake, oh, you're not going to spend McCormick and Schmidt uh, money, but, but you, you also spend, you, you also not going to spend like yeah. Chili's money. You know yes. who remind me, who, remind cool me of vibe. cheesecake that, that looked dope, but is affordable? Grand Lux. Yes. Yes, it's it's literally like the great value cheesecake, except that food is Whoa, actually pretty good. Right, great value. Well, if we're going off comparisons of who knows what Grand Lux is and cheesecake. Is people, that a Houston thing or is it a I, I don't know if they have a bigger chain, but people <laughs> will associate cheesecake as a higher value. But if you've been to Grand Lux, it's basically cheesecake, but the shit's actually pretty good too. Their food is fantastic. I think fantastic. their food is better, to be honest. 
I've only been to Cheesecake once, so I, I mean, didn't get a chance to try. I'd be low key feeling that way about Boudreaux's and Papadol's, but hey, you know that's yeah, yeah. In there. They got those in it, so. But um, the thing is, man, <laughs> when got I, I saw it, I just didn't like go down the rabbit hole to reading the comments. I, I I had passed by, but I'm like, bro, the first comment was on some bullshit. I'm like, what are we doing? Where nigga, t- get, get out, get out. I don't. Oh, now that's you weird. Me the cheesecake. <laughs> All right, get out, bro. I will go in this motherfucker by myself and have a great time. I would have went in there at eight. Oh, facts. Oh, for sure. Nigga, I drove here. You, I'm not driving you back. Yeah, it's not cheap either. Nigga, it's not, not, we we man, got reservations. I'm going oh, I thought you had a reservation for two, Mr. Ross. Oh, no. That might. Looks like one Res- today. One today. What's your drink <laughs> specials? If you ain't got one, I don't give a fuck. Hook me up. I was planning on me. spending a bag, so shit. I guess I'm spending for myself. The way I look <laughs> at it, you save fucking money. Because if somebody can literally tell you that, considering, and I'm pretty sure if you've taken someone out on a date, you've had conversations, you know what I'm saying, you you know, try to get to know them or whatnot, yeah, you and you've gotten to that point where it's like, all right, let's go on a date, let's have a good time, mm-hmm. or whatnot, and you want to surprise them, like, all right, I got you, or whatever, I, I'm not going to tell you cheesecake. where we're going, and then you finally put up the cheesecake motherfucker, like, what is this? That sounds like her first date, like, period. Yeah, like, they, what they is They probably this? was, you know, online talking or something. You want to know me and Nisha's first day was at um, TGI's? And I fucking love TGI's. I couldn't tell you where my first day was. I'm was it, a, was it on a Friday, too? I don't know. Bro, I, I, I was so, TGI, like... <clears throat> you said what? I was so, like... I love me TGI, man. Hey, great. Yeah, TGI's Friday. I, I mean, that was my first TGI's job. TGI's Friday. <laughs> TGI's, TGI's Fridays, Fridays is fire. My first no, job was TGI French. Fridays. I was the youngest host in that one at Pearland. I was at that one. Fam, how you not paying for something and then you bougie on back? That's what I'm saying. Get the fuck out. I would have. I'm telling you. <laughs> but because per, personally, I'm picking, I'm picking a female like nine times out of ten. If I'm going on a date with you, it's gonna be a female that's okay with going to Burger Park and Cheesecake. That's factory, true. Typically, so First, I'm a test your ass. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, I'm a, I'm notorious for the test. I'm that type. We gonna find out before I even. Yeah. Cause spend anything. You gotta work your way up the ladder before we even think about saying cheese or cake, nigga. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like you gotta work your way up. The restaurant ladder, because if you start off high, then people expect you to stay they expect there. that. Nah, nah, nah. If you nah. ain't got the cheese, you can't get the cake. cake. Come on, That's bro. a good one. That's a good one. I appreciate that. That boy, stay with the bars, nah, man. I pre- Ever you. since y'all said I still quotes, I've been coming up with my own. <laughs> that boy had the red end zone quote last week. I appreciate y'all for pushing me, This week, me, man. he got the cheese and the cake bars. I appreciate y'all for pushing it's, me, because now nah, I'm sitting high in his bag. And even if it is a skit, there, ahead, are, drop people, a tape. there are people that... Feel that way, and that's fine. If you want to eat wherever you know you feel like you deserve to eat at, find someone that will do that. Find I'm, t- that I'm man. tired of the dissension of the 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 rate the gender war. Like, bro, just I don't care. Like, let that let her not like cheesecake. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. If, if you realize somebody on that type of time, say bro, bye. I'm never going to speak to you again. Yeah. Like, just. I think we need to stop. If you a gold digger, cool. Dig, be that. Dig for gold. Go crazy. Yeah. I'm not going to judge you. Like, go find what you... Because there's so many people in this world and we keep trying to... We keep making it to where everybody got to think the same. Like, yeah. we're not going to think yeah. the same, bro. People think they, they shouldn't have to work. They should just get money. People think they mm-hmm. want to spoil girls. Mm-hmm. Dudes like when they girls work, be naked outside. Some dudes yeah. don't like it. It's, yeah. Bro, you, it's somebody for everybody. Stop letting purpose. the internet decide your Stop relationship. Stop it, bro. bro. It don't it's weird. matter, fam. Just Stop letting find the somebody, internet decide any of that. Find somebody that lines up to your interest and go for that person. Yeah. Fucking tired of the internet. <clears throat> people fall for this shit. I'm tired of people just opening up their goddamn mouth on shit that we don't need to know about continuously. Go ahead. I'm go ahead. Here. I'm here. It's Jada time? It's, it's, it's time. It's Jada time. I am, Jada. first and foremost, man, shout out to Will being the individual to uh, to deal with this nonsense. And once again, we don't know, uh, you know, how the conversations they've had privately about their relationship, but it's mm-hmm. recently come out that um, they hadn't really, they're still in the marriage, but they technically haven't been together for a while. So the whole situation with Chris Rock or whatnot, that whole situation, she came out and said she was surprised that Will did that because they hadn't, he hadn't called her his wife in forever. No, nah, y'all just holding hands and walking up to the goddamn thing and publicly for all this time. So yeah. what were you supposed to think? Of course. So there's, it, once again, did I, <clears throat> mental health is a real thing, especially 
in men in situations like that, K-9 we don't know, beans. you know, <laughs> absolutely. K-9 we, beans. We, we don't know how, you know, that impacts him. We can only speculate. You know, we've seen how he looked at that round table. That interview. red table. He well, did red look, table. Yeah, he, he looked some type of way. And then the situation with Chris, Chris Rock and, and the, we find out even this week or yeah, this week that apparently Chris Rock at one point was trying to talk to Jada. When they, you know, they found out, he found out that they weren't really together together, even though the public eye, we look at them as together, but we didn't know that at that time. So you got that, you got the August Alcina stuff, and there's a lot of things for someone to have to be the butt of everybody's jokes, because he has for the past few years. Mm-hmm. It is, it's always been some type of Jay to do something or say something, and he's the butt of the joke, so I, I want to give a, give some type of uh, shout out to him being able to still move with grace because he's not out. He could easily bad mouth her. He could return that know. same he type could. of energy. He could be on that type of time. And I know some people feel like he should, but he hasn't. Mm-hmm. He has kept it chill. He hasn't really said much about it. He's just kind of moved forward as the best he possibly can. But it's just something about a motherfucker who can't keep <laughs> their mouth shut. And I get it. You're trying to promote your book. That's that's to me promoting the book in the situation at hand with all the details that you're dropping now, how it affects someone else that's you quote unquote have this bond with. Mm-hmm. To me, I personally don't like it because it's like you're you're trying to benefit off of you telling your fucking truth to everybody, and it it ultimately paints Will in a bad light, and it just it doesn't. I me personally, I just can't think in my mind that he would just be like a hundred percent like okay and it, it just makes him feel good to know that his wife is exposing everything that how she feels and mm-hmm. everything else and it's just like damn bro if a guy was to do that to a woman oh it'd be different. oh it would be oh well some people was trying to say he did do that but I don't feel like he whatever Will did before we don't know she mad see or my, she's been trying to get her get my back issue is to me. even if Will did something before <clears throat> he didn't bring it to the public eye That's which is the I'm main saying, main bro. issue here mm-hmm. the issue isn't that Will did something before and so she's getting back whatever right. no the issue is that we know now that 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 this is happening with you you because you're the it. only one that's bringing it, and every and week, keep bringing it, and every week we hear more and more bullshit, more and more bullshit, like coming out your mouth about this situation. When I'm trying really, to figure out what the hell she doing on all the smoke, and we really like, don't want to hear it. She's on like, every goddamn because she's thing. She's on her, she's on her press run for her book, for sure. And, and once, it, it, like I said, I'm not here to tell anybody how to get the their money. You stupid. I'm not telling you how you know to get your money, get your bread, do what you got to do. But at what cost yeah. are you doing it? And because- you got children. Like, I don't think she realizing, like, fam, you got kids. And I think that's dope for Will not to be going toe-to-toe because yes. I feel like he's yes. cherishing more of the family Facts. ideology and the, you know. That's even, like, the kids been on some shit, that. too. Yeah. If my kids be on the shit that Will kids was on publicly, I'm publicly lighting their ass up, too. Jada Jaden start putting dresses on. They wasn't kilts. <laughs> he was shaving his eyebrows. He was. I haven't even paid attention. I didn't know. I don't know for years. I mean, you would just see throughout the years. years yeah. He's just oh, been okay. on some shit. He's been real quiet lately, which I'm glad. Like somebody took his phone. <laughs> but um, because I remember the uh, interview that Will did. It was a clip, and somebody was like, "What would you do again?" Or something like that about parents and paraphrasing here. Yeah. Um, he was like. Too much free will. Mm. He said, I would definitely kind of cut down on, he said, because they have too much, mm. you know, free, not free thought, but they, they're they too free to do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. He said he would have kind of reined it in a little yeah. bit. Because when you just tell kids, oh, be you, feel living you, like that's cool. But sometimes you we got, use my yeah. truth as an excuse yep. to not change. And honestly, I've been seeing a lot of stuff on like, some of Jada's truth is not truth. Yeah. I, I've been seeing those clips too. Like, it's just been so many breakdowns of it. I'm like, dang. Bro, she ain't letting and these Tupac are public wrist. documents. So based on what she's saying, I mean, this could actually be true. What they're saying about her not actually getting proposed to by Tupac. She's just saying it. She's saying a lot. Nisha, Nisha uh, showed me a, um, oh a, God, bro. a comment that somebody put on some 
uh, Jada just reported that she was in the back seat when she heard gunfire and said, "No, not two pot take wheel." <laughs> so, like I was just somebody, like, oh, somebody put God, a feature. They said bro. Jada just reported that she actually is Tupac. Bro, and it has like, it with the bandana. <laughs> at this point, it's man. like, bro, let Tupac rest, man. <laughs> bro, why do we have to have this this random Tupac? Uh, tidbit that we didn't know in every year on around his anniversary. You know, it's like, man, let him rest. It's good that you had a good relationship with him. We love it. That's cool. But I do remember in that Breakfast Club interview when Charlemagne asked uh, Will, yeah. did he have any jealousy towards Tupac? And mm-hmm. he admitted that he did. I, I mean, you would if you... If you know your wife somewhere. felt this way about yeah. Tupac. He, he felt that. So with him saying that... <clears throat> It shows a lot about the dynamic that she's using that because she's been it's really using cold. That Tupac, it being. really is cold. That's and if I'm you saying. know he felt that way, why would you keep throwing that in his face? And and my thing is like, we'll have to do something bad, maybe. Like that's like maybe it's behind the scenes he did something. I see. Bad. I want to make it. I want to make it make sense to me in my head. I mean, yeah. I see women saying, saying that. Oh, maybe he did he something had, so and, horrible. And the only women that I see protecting Jada are women that are one sided. Yeah, oh, for sure. If you if you always only see the bad in men, no matter what the woman is doing, you got to look in the mirror because yeah. we can be non biased and call the bullshit out when it's man or woman. Yeah, like I call bullshit bullshit. Well, yeah. I ain't want to hear half the stuff about their life. They they marriage being so free. Yeah. I can care less. Y'all look positive, but he was trying to keep it in a oh we're we're just a different type of love. And see, that, out here, and, and that fucking, explains. It explains, but he was trying to make it. Look, he was still yeah. trying to keep. He was, it, yeah, he was respectful, to but yeah. some some women will try to. Nah, he did something. Y'all don't understand. He was going on runs too, and all the like, shit ain't his. Did, but we don't know. His, yeah, it was never brought to light because it wasn't supposed to be the light. If if it was an agreement, they've already had. Clearly, it's been like this for years. This is not nothing new. So keep We've that only, between y'all. This is only things that the public appearance. Well, the public can only speculate. We've heard about this. For a long time, so it's just yeah. A long time ago, people were saying stuff about. But the thing is, we started hearing more from Jada and her speaking her truth. We didn't hear much from Will. So the August Alcina thing, that shit came out of fucking left field. She just became an evil villain out of nowhere. It's just relevancy too, because she's not as relevant anymore. Yeah, and she's her relevance is coming from Will. Her yeah. That's why I think she only want to drop the name. Because she's saying she never wants to get divorced and all that. Because yeah. once Will parts ways with her, if he ever Will's does, still yeah. gonna be Will. Yeah, if, of course, if he yeah. ever does, yeah, he'll still be Will. And people love Will. Like, yes, <laughs> Will's like the the big homie, bro. He, he always fun, laughing, good energy. Nobody want to see him. Yeah, keep getting kind of like sipped out, you know, yeah. and, and walked over. And it just, I don't know. Visually, I'm tired just, of him looking like that. It just, yeah, it, it don't look good. And then yeah, the slap. I feel like he put his career on the line for her. Yeah, you know. And then you go and now she talking about some. I don't even know why he did that. I'm like, bro, that would have been GGS. Oh, you don't know why? All right, all right, but we wasn't in a relationship. You haven't called me wife and so girl. Cut yeah, the fucking when, semantics. You know, we out here looking like a wife and y'all husband. still technically married. So that's exactly why when she said bringing all that extra information out. It's dumb. You're it's just, just being extra. It's for what? I'm, you, I'm over Jaden. Get Jada ass out of here. Me too. Yeah, she bro. Cuts. Yeah, bro. I loved her in Wu. Oh, I loved God, I Jada love growing up. Yeah, bro, for that sure. was one of my 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 babies. Yeah, for sure. Idols become your rivals. Get, Facts, your, get Jada ass. Yeah, the hell she got to get. Got to go. She Respects gotta go. to Will. Respect to the kids. I ain't trying to say that to be disrespectful, yeah, but, but this is she ain't giving a damn about my man. This man is the talks is everywhere about Will. Yeah. Because of her, and she yeah. ain't making him look good and nothing. Yeah, yeah. She ain't. Nothing. Is she saying something good about this man? Like. Nothing. Yeah, bro. Just, just like he was all bad. Husband. He was horrible. I wish she talked about him like she talked about Tupac. <sighs> it Jeez. just it just hurts your feelings because it's yeah. so disrespectful. Because she never wanted to be with him. Like then she that that clip came out how she never she didn't really want to marry him. Yeah, she was forced into marrying him because yeah, she had she kids. Was. The the mom was telling her you got a kid with him. So I'm like, bro, come on. Sometimes living your truth. We don't. It can be a little bit too true. You can be your truth, but keep it to, to you yourself, though. It's yours. Bro. That's so disrespectful, bro. Like, that is like maximum disrespect. Not only bro. is it disrespectful for me to know that shit. Like when he said, "I only married you for the kids." <laughs> it's the disrespect to the ultimate degree for me to know that. 
The pride. But for you done. to go on every fucking interview in and the they world, let everybody know these things. things like, yeah. bro, you are <clears throat> like, I, it's it's so hard for me to even believe Will did anything even comparison to this. It's yeah, some bro. Antichrist type stuff. She's stupid, bro. He's Paul Christ prevails. Bro, or the she omen. Really, she really a demon out here. I don't, it's the I don't, omen or something, right? I don't know, man. I don't know what type of times you know. I just wish you shut the hell up. Yeah, damn. Let's think this. Yep. Shut the hell up, man. This is. I don't know what I would do in that moment. I mean, you you can't. You can, but that's why I said I don't know what I would because do. once again, there's obviously kids, other people looking no. up to you. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> FTK. But, but that's one of those things where I said FTK. when you're a high profile individual, <laughs> it's, it's one of those the things kids. where you kind of, you got to take, Ross. you got to take kids. that edge. Ross. <laughs> Bro, these niggas is 20, 20 something, damn near 30, no, 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 kids. I, I, I'm, I get you. You a man. You know what's going you. on. You I, out here getting yours. I get you. Them kids. <laughs> So you and your mom, but then you also it's stiff. We can say that because we're not there yet, and I'm getting blood tests. We can still say that because I'm not there. We're not there yet. I need to see if they my kids there yet. I ain't trying to get there. I'm talking about in the 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 popularity, fame, oh, like oh, everyone no. around the world know you nah, type kids. Shit. I'm trying to tell <laughs> so, you, Ross. So that's probably them, yeah, so I don't you even, just gonna go I don't rogue even on want her? that kind of fame. You just gonna go rogue with her? I, I don't want, want that kind of fame. Are you either. gonna go back and forth rogue? I'm just too real. So you, that means you are He's you gonna go back and forth real. rogue? Because if she's she's airing everything out, are you gonna air everything no, it's out not, back it's not in response? That. It's not that. I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying for for the kids' sake. Oh, I'm. Oh, so I'm, it's, it's oh. I'm finna go to. I'm getting all the baddies. Will can get them. Yeah. Yep. yep. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the the, the tit kids? for tat. I would divorce. I would have divorced her. Oh, okay. Before. That's the it wouldn't even got to that point. She to cut her real. hair. Oh, that's the only part that irritates me is because the hair would have been in the divorce papers. Because, uh, oh, did like, like I understand how some people <laughs> put the blame on him because of the fact that he's stuck with this person that he, he ain't pretty stuck. Much he want to be stuck. Technically not stuck. He, he want to be stuck. He could, and that's it. He's he's trapped in that curse. You know the curse. Yeah, it's, it's something, bro. I told you know you the, the curse. Omen. <laughs> it gotta be some <laughs> potentially some because it ain't nothing. Well, it's something, but <laughs> a bruja. A bruja. <laughs> it's something going on while he hasn't left that alone. Like, just said, all right, we're going to. Because she said herself, well, I ain't never getting divorced. She said that. Like, it's not happening. You don't have to. I can. Papers. At your and door. you have to if I'm. I can take you to court for that. Send them the papers. Oh, bro. Yes. Can't, if you she can't don't, if she don't want to say. You can send them papers. She got to sign them. She can say she can't. Once gonna sign you get them, served. You don't have to sign them. This is like you getting served with child support and say, I don't want to pay child support. Well, nigga, that paper is in your oh, face. Well, they're going to take them wages regardless. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, it's either willingly. <laughs> they taking that. Or we taking that by force. Uh, well, uh, we don't know. We we don't know why he's still around, but he chooses to keep that going. So all I can do it's, is pray for image. you, man. Yeah, man. That's it. I'm, I'm praying for him. Because she's, she's health, making bro. Will look. So drawn out, man. especially with him being like the childhood hero. Yeah, bro, you doing like, that to my guy, man. That's Will why I feel guy. disrespected. Cause yeah. yeah, Fresh Prince, come man. on, man. That's he was sad. getting all the women on Fresh Prince. Now we seeing him <sighs> dealing with go out sad with this. He probably approved it. Oh, Will was living his best life. And she It's not, that's not the problem. So it's like, Y'all can have an arrangement. Yeah. But you keep talking about Tupac. You keep talking about Will. You don't know why he slapped you. Are you doing all this shit? I don't, I just don't like how I look for my My man. guess is maybe they had an approved conversation <laughs> in the back. Which is cool. Yeah. But, but I still don't like it. You yeah. tearing down my, like, I can't tear down my brand to up yours. Yeah. That's, that's a fair point. Tearing down my brand to up your funk. Because he's tearing book. down his brand. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. But but you can this, still she, tear you she, can still hurt someone's image. 
You can still hurt somebody. I mean, it don't matter how up you are in money. He's banned money. from the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, the niggas. He really slapped that nigga for no reason. This nigga banned for like eight <laughs> eight years. Or Chris caught a slap for nothing. For no reason. Well, not necessarily no reason. Well, I feel for Chris now. Because well, t- if he heard he was trying to talk to his lady, that he if he still was. <laughs> that's you know, that's another point. You know what I'm saying? At least he like, didn't pipe August. Pipe. He didn't slap August. This is. So Chris well, caught a who slap. Who sees for August? Nothing. <clears throat> mm. I think they had a bunch of rough parts too. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's cold. First of all, that's, that's foul. Well, first of all, that's foul. Yeah. If that's the case, nah, it's foul. I'm just trying to tell you, like this. <laughs> this all needs to be on that level of fame. But I'm saying, if that were to happen with any of my friends. I'm not waiting until I get to the Oscars. <laughs> You're not going to make it to the Oscars. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We don't have He's a host. Except I'm going to see you right now. I'm telling you, fam. <laughs> where are you? <laughs> I mean, and then I know where you're going to be. Not the where are you? I know you in LA. I know you're somewhere. <laughs> the Oscars are not going to have you a host. You got dub tonight. hunting for this man. <laughs> you damn skippy. In my suit. Because I'm suit, still going man. to the Oscars. And I'm going to look like, damn, where's Chris? We need a host. I have no idea what happened to Chris. <laughs> this nigga, we need a host. This I'm, nigga, Chris in the trunk. Mm, 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 mm. We need you. Shut up, back there. Shut your ass up. Shut up. I'm hitting every bump. As a matter of fact, I'm going to park in, what's that? My Hollywood, the homeless area? Oh, oh perfect. And leave man. it unlocked. Leave my car there. Ah, oh, damn. Or the rental. Tell them somebody stole it. Bro, you're not making it. To the, like, if that's if that's the case, then once again, yeah, I get why the slap. You know, there's probably obviously some back extra, you know, things that cause that rift between them. <laughs> but when you hear someone say, "I don't even know why he even did that," and the optic yeah, was to, to defend you, then it, it makes it like, damn it, it, it was for no reason. It, it comes off still for no reason. And now he's banned. He's banned <laughs> for like ten fucking years. Bro. I don't know why he did that. That's bro, that's cool. bro, even Anisha wrong, I'm standing by her publicly. Straight up. We that's how argue. it's supposed to. Oh, we're going to be in the car arguing like shit. Yeah. But when we get out, hey, that's my wife. Yeah. I, I can't make her go down Yeah, no matter what it is. Even if I'm telling my truth, I'm going to, I can leave things out and still tell my truth. Yes. That's, and, and that's. Just take point. ownership. Take on, you don't have to explain everything because the only people, the reason why <laughs> this is even happening because people want to know. The juicy details, mm-hmm. but at the same time, once again, she's trying to sell a book, bro. She's trying to sell a book, but at what cost? So, I hope nobody buy it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> niggas definitely, buy it. niggas buy definitely it. buying it, bro. It's, it's, it's yeah. I want to see what else she did to this nigga. <laughs> what else did she do? What else? I don't, mm, I she it. cheated on. She cheated on she's Will with the. Uh, yeah. It's a big yeah. yeah. And then she's on everybody's talk show. Anyone with a right. microphone, she, hey, you want to hear my truth? They're going to find out the real reason he slapped He slapped Chris. Then you got these 35 plus lonely ass women that just fucking lonely ass women that don't like to go to cheesecake. Just fuck up. With cats. I'm not getting out to go there. Cheesecake? Would Jada do it? Exactly. Would Jada do it? That should be the what rule What would Jada book. do? That's what, what the J stands what for? What will Jada do? <laughs> that's a good one. That's the title. What will Jada do? Not the will Jada. <laughs> what that will boy. Jada? That's the Look title. Look at that right boy there. with the pun. <laughs> hey, I, I wanted to talk about this since we are on YouTube or whatnot. And this are we? Is, we are on YouTube are right now. And on Spotify. And wherever you're listening. Wherever yeah, you wherever can listen to your podcast. To. But the visual is on YouTube. But we we are YouTubers. We, mm-hmm. we consider ourselves that. Uh, I'm a professional. <laughs> We, we, go ahead. We talked about this. Anywho, go ahead. well, <laughs> there's a uh, popular uh, YouTuber. She goes by Sniper Wolf. Okay. I don't know. You may, you probably seen her video at some point. She used to play Call of Duty big on that, whatever. And uh, recently, she's kind of transitioned her content to reactions, but mostly I TikTok she reactions. Transition. Yeah, no, not she. She's still, still a woman. <laughs> But she transitioned her content mm-hmm. to reactions, mostly TikTok clips or whatever. And I definitely wanted to talk about this because we, you know, we started our our brand through reactions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's how it kind of catapulted. But 
what she does and people have criticized her on it is if people feel like it's content stealing <clears throat> because her reactions are the most bare bones. I mean, to the point of she'll see somebody on TikTok like running. I, I think, I don't know if y'all seen that clip where it, like there's a big ass hole and the guy runs around the hole and gets to the top. She'll literally be like, oh, wow, he, he ran in a circle and he, he got to the top. That's crazy. Wow. And that's literally just, it's a bunch of regular mundane clips, but she's reacting to them in such a, like, non-low effort Just trying to get these videos out. Yeah, videos and views. And they averaging over 500K to a million views per vid. Because it's her. Yeah, because it's her. How does she look? You know. To some people, she would be very attractive. Well, to some people. I don't find her that attractive. Well, on a one to ten. Um, I've seen her out makeup too. Um, I'm gonna go like uh, at least a four. She got the the college and the lips and stuff. Yeah, I've yeah, yeah. Because the people call lips. Let me see Sniper Wolf. Because she used to be big on Call of Duty. She used to be big. Name sounds very familiar. No, like talking about like because we know you content wise. You don't like big women, right? Thick. There's a difference. Thick and big. No, just thick. Thick big. What about thick big? No, just thick. What about big butt? I'm still oversized thick. with no, no uh, still, still thick. All right, so Sniper Wolf getting a lot of views. How does she dress in the videos? That shit. And she, she cosplays stuff. Yeah. What? Yeah. I, I don't know. Let me see. Trying dumb life hacks to see if they work. Yep, that's on. Yep, that's on by right. And she got those, you know, type of thumbnails, but they're, they're low effort. Question: Who do we blame? Um. Well, she's always had a fan base. She just was able to... I blame to, the fan base. Because mm, mm, I think you can promote I don't mm, want to do this, but Sexy Red. Uh, I, you can say you can say that because, I mean, obviously her fan base are young kids, bro. So they they eat this shit up. They're it, boys who just who don't have the luck. And there's a lot of those with, mm-hmm. I don't know where they be getting this money from. You be mm-hmm. seeing them, bro. We see him on stream. Mom's credit card. Yeah. You be seeing it on on Twitch. I mean, she's 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 attractive face to most. So Fam, and... I seen a lady outside in a kiddie pool yeah. with a horse head on. Mm-hmm. Getting donations. Getting donations. But with mods. I gotta get to the to the to the the thing that causes issues. So obviously, if you're on YouTube, <clears throat> you're up to fair criticism. Mm-hmm. That's part of what YouTube is. People are going to like what you do. Some people are going to criticize your content. And there right. was one, uh, another popular YouTuber goes by Jack Films. He's criticized her because when she do make these videos, they, her editor crops out the original TikTok or wherever she got it from. Oh, stopping them from getting credit. Yeah. That's so what those. he does is he'll react to her reaction, making fun of it, but he'll also at the content creators. That's, he has a big dope. following too. <clears throat> so it's become like a, a game of sorts of what is she going to say so generic on this clip? And they made like a little pinwheel and what is she going to say right here? Uh, she's going to say this. And then she actually does. That's funny. So <laughs> it's, it's a serious oh, thing. That's it crazy. It's hilarious, right? So wow. obviously, you know, she hasn't doesn't like it. So I guess recently, I think it was like a couple days ago actually, she was doing some type of photo shoot and she has like a big follow on Instagram, like close to 5 million followers or whatever. 5 million? She told me yeah, to do she, something. She popped up. She was like, hey, um, uh, I'm not far from you. Let's talk at Jack Films. She posted like she in his area and he was streaming at the time. So he didn't know. You right. know what I'm saying? Then she posts his actual house. It's like a Online? picture. Yes, on her story, oh, her geez, actual geez, house <laughs> and tag him. Hey, come outside, let's talk. So on live stream, he's chilling in his friends all in Discord and stuff like that. Hey, yo, she posted your crib. He's like, no yeah, fucking bro. way. Like, no, she's outside. She posted your shit. And then, of course, she deleted it. Mm-hmm. So at that point, he was like, yo, you know, he's married or whatever. His wife had found out. He's like, yo, that now this yeah, is like- this is getting way too personal considering it, it shouldn't even be that serious so obviously he added you know he added team youtube all this other stuff like yo y'all need to do something about this individual because she's sitting up here doxing it yeah. doxing me she comes back responds like oh 
I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what doxing is. That slander. Oh, you know what it is. And I'm like, yeah, you fucking know what it is because you deleted it. And then she makes another story like, hey, we at y'all, you know, we at y'all people's uh, place. Like me and me and uh, I think she was with some one of her friends. Oh, she was like, God. yeah, you know, what if we pull up to your crib? What you going to do? You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's not serious to her. And it's one of those things where, F-A-F-O. you know, he's made he made a video, you know, recently talking about YouTube needs to do something about this. I don't give a damn if it's a big creator or not. That's unacceptable because if you don't do nothing about it, then you give everyone the green light to sit up there, come to someone's crib, post it on social media to their millions of followers for them to either troll or do whatever. And that's that's a slippery slope. And and I wanted to bring that question to y'all because we've, you know, we've, me and you, we've definitely experienced how things happen on YouTube for certain Mm -hmm. people and certain people are able to get away with shit. And I, I feel like, and it sucks to say this, I don't think anything's going to happen to her. Yeah, I, no, I don't think not. anything's going to happen to her. It, if anything, a slap on her wrist. She may lose a couple of sponsorships here and there. She literally just dropped another video of the same type of reactions. She literally just did today. Yeah. You got the video. But I, but it's with everything. Like, <clears throat> who you know, how much money are you bringing to my company? Yeah, it is. That's, those are the two main things. Like, it's, it's how much money are you bringing to this company? And who do you know? And it's the simple fact that if someone could say, um, oh, well, y'all react, y'all technically still in content. I wouldn't say that for us because we actually add commentary, we actually yeah, no. add jokes. We Reactions actually... aren't still in content at all, in my eyes, because <clears throat> you're literally like responding to what it is that you're seeing here. You're actually giving actual feedback. feedback. Yeah. yeah, Not just saying, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. like, no, whoa. Look at that such and such that yeah, he has yeah, on yeah. it. That's crazy that he has blah, blah, blah on that. Did y'all notice that he has that? And it's stuff that people aren't noticing until you bring it up. Exactly. So you're actually bringing value to the, to the stealing, viewer. Stealing content is re-uploading somebody's content and not doing anything but reaping off of the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. With no type of input, no type of, you know, like credit, credit or that's just like what Chisel does. And shout out to Chisel, man, because yeah. Chisel is going through a lot. Woo. Like Chisel, even when he does those NFL commentaries, think mm-hmm. about it. He's getting those clips. He's adding the commentaries. He's adding jokes. He's adding clips. He's he's doing so much to it that that's being, you know, mm-hmm. put on top of that. It's like I'd rather watch his commentary than the actual, yeah, the actual you know, highlights. NFL yeah. highlights commentary, which I think is another reason why they keep coming after the homie. Yeah, um, because it's too, good. it's too good. It's too good of a content. Yeah, you know, he'd be the first person I would put on whatever new platform mm-hmm. and let him have free reign because mm-hmm. he gonna give you his un biased opinion Mm -hmm. and he gonna put a a, a thousand percent in and then on top of that to not even be getting paid yeah and and, and it's just it comes back down to it's who you know man it's it's who you know and it's 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 also comes down to ego Mm -hmm. because if you feel like you're untouchable then you feel like you can say and do whatever i just want you to know obviously they're not on that type of time but if you do that to someone that's on that type of time Oh, yeah. It ain't gonna be. It's gonna be one picture with something in somebody's hand. Mm-hmm. I want you to post that picture, cause you pulling up to somebody's crib and taking a picture of their crib to post on the internet. Nah, mm-hmm. bro. Like, was she was she outside? Was she still there? She, no, I don't. I don't know if she was still there, but she posted. It's just the fact that she. Yeah, found yeah. No, no. I was just trying to see because you know, you know where where I'm at. Yeah. Where I'm from. You know. Yeah. Because if, the, if you got a wife, cameras, yeah. If you got a wife who bought that life and yeah. You saying you outside there, y'all listening. Hold on, y'all. We're going to pause the stream right quick. Yeah, give me just a second. <laughs> no, actually, let's let's add to the stream. Let me get this uh this cam. Hold on, you y'all. You know what I'm saying? Since she outside. I'm going to get my Mari cam so I can chase my wife outside. <laughs> yeah. Think, right? <laughs> Hold no, on a second. Because, I mean, you bring in, you know, that's bro, negative. That's, bro. You have children there. You don't know. You know, yeah. he has children. Uh, I don't think he has children, though. But I'm you, you sure. don't know. Whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. it is, you don't know a person's situation. You don't know who they got living with them. Nah, Niggas on the internet is weird and crazy. You might have posted that picture. Somebody else start doing weird shit. I mean, they shit. do that when yeah. certain streamers used to stream. Mm-hmm. When they would find out where they was, they, they would call in. Swat. Uh, uh, swat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, start swatting them just because, mm-hmm. you know, they just want to see some shit. And me, personally, it, it rubbed me the wrong way because I was, I, I've been in that similar situation not mm-hmm. someone posted my uh my address but you know someone who was on the stream or whatnot he somehow he was able to get my number so i had to get like a little uh app to block the spam number because anytime i stream 
he would just spam my number mm -hmm. with different numbers. So I was like, all right, I had to get this app to block him. And whoever it was, I was like, bro, you, you're being fucking weird. So I think it was a stream we were doing. I think it had to have been a SmackDown stream, live, a Raw stream, whatever it was. Um, I want to say my mom hit me up midstream. She was like, hey, did you send a pizza over to my place? And I was like, uh, no. What are you talking about? That's what well, someone, it was like almost 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. uh, Domino's is, you know, uh, they tried to deliver a pizza and I told them I didn't order anything. And I was like, D you didn't open up anything, all right? Like they had on a domino shirt, you saw the truck or whatever. She's like, yeah. And like, you didn't open up the gate or nothing like that because there's a gate and then there's the front door. She's like, mm -hmm. no, I just told them I didn't order anything. So I thought you had. And I was like, nope. And it, it clicked to me. It was somehow the person was able to find where uh, my mom was staying yeah. and they ordered a pizza in that area to send to her. And that's when I was like, right, and I got back on camera. If you seen the clip, mm -hmm. I was like, hey, and my mood changed instantly. Cause now oh, sure, I'm like, don't play with me. You don't play don't, like that. We don't, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care if you're a long time supporter. You ain't a real supporter if you're doing shit like that. Mm -hmm. Because I don't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? And people, you never know what people's intentions are. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And even even super fans. Like, yeah. We've seen it. Stan. You see, look at Stan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's just. Sometimes it's good to have that, you know, that, that disconnect. Yeah, and you know, that's why your personal home life. should be that place of disconnect. Yeah, you can create content <laughs> there, but you don't need millions of people who you know don't like that you're going after their favorite YouTuber having your fucking address. Yeah, because you never know what a simple do. Yes, that's if, why. If a person can be sitting there donating thousands of dollars and they ain't never even going to get a, yeah, a, you a mention, Bruh. what do you think they'll do? Oh, in the person. name of this person. Facts. So rap. Yes. Shit. So uh, hopefully TGs. YouTube do something. I doubt they fucking will because YouTube is YouTube, bro. Who when it know. comes to certain stuff, they they Who pick you know. they pick and choose. Oh, they do. You can you can. And that, that's you can not a, just you can post YouTube. a music video with your ass out, and then yeah, they pick and choose, bro. They cool know. with that. Yeah, yeah. but you know, just don't post kids with toys on your channel specifically, <sighs> and they'll probably block it because yeah. that's harassment or something. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, <laughs> hey, this is this is a dope one though, man. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I think we got our shit off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, therapeutic, therapeutic, man. Definitely therapeutic. Um, I can't wait till we get um, I'll start doing some guests pretty soon. Okay. Um, just trying to get some, you know, some more episodes under our belt and stuff. Uh, shout out to Nisha. Mm -hmm. Amazing job in the background. She always, the switching, always for sure, making for sure the audio everything. So love you, babe. Appreciate you. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get some more perspectives on here. Mm -hmm. and, and other people and stuff like that so that way we can really get into you know I want to know the whys mm -hmm. why people think certain ways why do they think and agree with certain things happening the way they do Yeah, mm -hmm. I wish we could interview Jada <clears throat> just so I can well, I don't even want to interview her but people that <laughs> agree with her I'll say that because there are people of course. that we know yeah. that are rallying for her and saying oh we'll live your truth queen. We'll link. Live your <clears throat> truth. What you what's your truth exactly <laughs> nothing that my true shit is something else, man. <laughs> Lacks accountability. Oh, that's all it is. It's just, just living my truth, bro. It's literally another fancy way of saying I'm not going to be accountable <clears throat> for I'm anything I'm living in my I car do. because I'm living my truth. Yeah. Not because I don't I'm feel like I'm not applying myself because I'm living my truth. That's I don't a, need a job. I'm living my truth. I'm living my truth. I'm living my truth. God took me out that situation because I'm living my truth. <laughs> I need to work. Because. But I'm living my truth. Yeah. I don't need Ah oh, man, this is a good one. But hey, yeah, uh, we got our we got our title. I'm glad Keep we got our title. Truth. Yeah, y'all yeah. live y'all truth the right way. Or you're gonna be living your truth like this forever in the same situation you're living your complaining truth. about your truth. Yeah, complaining about it. And talking about how you live in your truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, facts. Truth. That's that's actually competing for the title. <laughs> yeah, living your truth. Living my truth. Yeah. That's mm. one of the good ones. Mm. But yeah, uh hopefully y'all enjoyed the pod, man. <laughs> Episode 92. Uh, this one is in the books, man. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying them. <laughs> uh, just give us more suggestions or comments and uh, other topics that you guys would like us to touch on. I do like when we just come in here and just kind of freestyle and just kind of give it some more realistic. We just know, live energy. our truth. Yeah, we're yeah, living, just our, living truth, our truth. Just live our truth. That's it. That's what we do. Living our truth. Yeah, I love sure. y'all. Be breezy out there now. <laughs> Peace. This is the ITC podcast, man.